Hi everyone, I decided I want to try and fix this fan, so I figured I'd make a video about it. Now, the main fan bit is actually working, this spins no problem. The problem with it is it doesn't turn, it's meant to turn like this, but it's not working. So, as you can see, I've already gone to all of the effort of opening it up, and I think, well, I'll just show you how it's supposed to work in the first place. So we've got this main rotor in the middle which spins around, and this serves two purposes. At the front, it spins the fan blade but at the back it's acting as a worm gear and it's turning various gears inside this gearbox. Now this does have a cover and it's normally greased up but I've removed a lot of the grease. So let me zoom in on that gearbox. So if I spin the blade at the front you can see how this worm gear is turning and in turn it's turning these gears or these cogs. So if I bring them out you can see the various different components. So the idea is that this worm gear goes against this which then turns this one, and then ultimately turns this one here. And if I zoom out, I can show you where that goes. So the idea is that that cock there gets turned, and that interacts with this bit here, which is the arm that actually makes the fan move left and right. And if I hold it upside down, I can probably show you that better. So you see this arm here, how it moves? So the idea is that that turns around and that causes the fan to move. So yeah, it's basically not working, and I've already worked out why. So to show you, I just have to open up the motor so we can move the rotor forwards and get access to this gear. So now I've removed the screws, we can pull this whole thing forward, this whole rotor, and it's separate the motor apart. And now we've got better access to the gearbox. Now I'll try and remove this cog in here. It's a little bit screwed in, but not very well. And this is where the problem is with this gear here. Now it has this insert, I think all of this is nylon. But this bit here has a square base, and that's actually meant to be connected to this bit here, but it's broken off. And that is the bit that's meant to be turned so that it can actually move the arm and move back and forth like this. So because it's broken off, it's not turning that, and that's why the whole thing isn't working. Now some people have said to me, I'll just go and buy a new fan, but like most of the fan is working, it's really just that back bit that's not working. So if we can somehow glue this back into place on here, we might be able to get this working again. If not, hopefully I can find a replacement part because it would be a shame to lose that functionality just over a small broken piece. So what I really want to do is try and remove the arm from here so I can get access to this nylon bit and see if we can glue this back into place, maybe with some epoxy or something like that, and hopefully that will fix it. Although I did already try and remove that screw and didn't have any luck, but yeah, I'll try again. So I tried for a while to remove this screw, but the metal's really soft. In fact, all of these screws, the metal's kind of soft, and yeah, they just don't want to come undone. But what I found is that on the other side, where it attaches to the front of the fan, there's just a little clip holding it in place. So I removed that clip, hopefully I can get that back on again. <laughs> anyway, I removed that clip, and then the whole mechanism came out from here. So let me just show you where this was. This went up here, and it had the gear connected in there, and that's what turned this whole thing or turn this part at least. And this is the part from the cog, and this is where it's actually broken. You can see there that this bit is meant to be permanently attached to this. Uh, which way around does it go? I think like that. So if I can glue that back into place, I think we can get this working again. So I'm gonna look around and see if I can find some putty to reconnect this. Sorry, by the way, if this video isn't the, the highest quality. Um, this isn't in my normal shooting location, but yeah, let me try and find some glue and see if I can put this thing back together. Now unfortunately all I can find is super glue, but it's gone on quite well, so I think it might be okay. I also got some of my fingers, but it seems to make a pretty good connection, so we might be able to get away with just using that super glue. I'm just gonna give it a while to set, and then we'll put it in and just give it a short test run just to see if it works. I can always buy something stronger in the future if we find this super glue doesn't hold up, but so far I'm pretty hopeful. So as you can see, the fan is back together, and unfortunately I didn't have any success. I've, I've been here for about, I don't know, an hour, maybe two hours, trying to find a way to make this work because the little bit of plastic or nylon, whatever it is, just wouldn't stick on there. I tried super glue like three times. I tried an epoxy that I found and it just seems like nothing will bond with this. It sticks, but it breaks very easily. The thing is, I know you can get replacement gearboxes and perhaps even just replace this specific part. Um, I even tried like putting through a long bolt, thinking maybe I could clamp it down, but then you've got issues with clearance and with this bit being able to spin, and yeah, it just didn't work. So you might think, well, this video is a waste of time, but not really, because not only did I learn more about how the fan works, but you probably learned a bit more as well, especially with you know how the turny bit works. 
and since I had the whole thing open I was also able to oil inside so it now spins a bit more freely um, I don't know if this will show on video but let's just try it Now, I mean, that probably doesn't mean anything to you, um, but I was able to see it before, and it is spinning a bit more freely now, and, yeah, it's a little bit quieter. So, I think I will eventually, you know, track down this replacement part, and then maybe I'll do a follow-up video. But, um, yeah, that's it for now. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.